nerds and nerdettes and we little nerdlings all. It's your buddy, Big John and G, the two good fix it presents Legendary Gaming. Welcome back for another Grand Central shout-out. It's been a while since I did one of these. Now, a while back was at the beginning of the year when I was doing a yearly update. Maybe it was even before that with another channel update. I was talking about how I wanted to branch out and do a little bit more than, than just talk about gaming companies that I like. And now, now it's about time. So what I'd like to talk about is uh, start a series an on-again, off-again series that I'm going to intermingle in with the board game companies I want to give a shout-out to. And that's giving a shout-out that's needed to some fellow gamers that are just great. That just have some really fun content that they create and they put up on YouTube. Now, the reason this means a lot to me is because I am a horrible YouTube friend. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am. I, uh, I watch videos and uh, I never, almost never comment on them, but I'm always asking you to comment on mine. Not a good YouTube friend, but I do, uh, I do watch some videos. And I, I don't have a lot of time, which is why I phrase it like that, between making sure I get a video up here every day, uh, normal everyday life, family things, uh, as well as trying to start another channel uh, with different content on it, things, things don't leave a lot of time for me to sit back and just watch YouTube or TV or Twitch or something. So when I do watch it, there has to be a damn good reason. I really need to be, uh, I have to be, I have to feel like I'm compelled in a sense. You really have to do a lot more to get my attention. Not that I'm anything special. Just like I said, the time, the time I have. That's all it comes down to. So I want to start off today with, with two channels that when I do have time, I do enjoy checking out. I like watching. They, they make me happy. <laughs> and uh, I, I think they deserve shout outs. I don't think enough content creators do uh, enough things where they, where they you know, really support uh, each other. We, we do see it sometimes. I'm not saying that it's, uh, that it's a completely mythical beast at all. But I'm just saying that I think we should see some more of it. And this is this is the beginning of my way to contribute to that uh, to some way. So me and Fu, and Fu has a has a little tiki buddy. Alright, more the merrier. <laughs> We're gonna go over two channels that when I do uh, have the time or make the time, I enjoy watching. <laughs> The first one I want to give a shout out to is uh, not a board gaming channel. It's a more it's a video game channel, and uh, I don't watch a lot of those at all. Actually, there's only like two others that I can think of offhand that I that I do make sure I have time to check out. So you'll probably hear about them in, in later shout outs. Uh, but I also wanted to give a shout out here first because. Uh, I find this person has always been very helpful to the community, always been there for the community, uh, and, and make sure that, that people do get shout outs that need it, that make sure that people do get recognized, that she believes uh, deserve it, that, that entertain her, you know? And uh, in, in the beginning, uh, when I was starting out, that's, that's how I met her, actually. Uh, was through the community that that was that was being built up uh, around the time, you know, and she made sure that I was a part of it, and that really helped. Back uh, when I wasn't doing daily content and I had a lot more time to be on social media, uh, I, I was quite active with her and the others that she kind of pooled together there uh, for a little bit. And I know some of them are still checking me out, some of them are still watching me uh, from those first days, and this is all thanks to Testception. Now, uh, I, you know, I could be wrong here. I think she used to post daily, 
Uh, but like I said, I don't really watch daily all the time. But I do know that she posts like, around four or five times a week now at times, which is great, which is a great schedule. Uh, you know, some, some people only post it once a week or, or three times a week. So it's nice to see more of that. So besides being so cool to the community, I actually enjoy watching her reactions and hearing her reactions. She has a lot of different style games that she plays, everything from, uh, from Minecraft, I've watched her play Spider-Man Morales games. She has a wide uh, variety of things that she does draw from that she herself, you can tell, is having a great time playing these games. Uh, my, my favorite... My favorite are the horror games that she plays. Actually, that's pretty much my favorite. Anytime I do watch a video game, I guarantee you those are going to be my favorites. Especially the ones that, which is pretty much all of them, I think, uh, are doing reaction videos to these games. That's what's going to draw her in. You know, different viewers uh, appreciate different things when they do watch reaction videos. And what I like is she has a lot of everyday kind of comments, like sitting there with someone watching a horror movie, asking those questions out loud, like, why the hell are you going in there? <laughs> so there's that familiarity of, of comedy, so to speak. Uh, but when she, when she jumps and she gets that jump, not only is, is she having a jump effect through it, but you can read it on her face, I think, so well. And uh, I'm entertained by that. I like it. So I always do make sure that I, I'm going to have a little bit of time at some point to check out some videos by Deception. And that's why I wanted to bring that up here, uh, just like the, the next one coming up, because I wanted to let you know, maybe this is something that you enjoy and you're not familiar with this channel or the next one I'm going to mention, and you're now going to want to check it out. And now the last thing I think I was wanna, I want to point out about uh, Deception is, is I love her playlists. Not everyone does playlists. Not everyone really that does do them actually commits to them. Uh, so I appreciate that that she is actually a content creator, a regular content creator that does that. So you have a playlist, a list of play lists. You, uh, you really do help your fan base out. You, you help your viewers and subscribers out because sometimes they're looking for something specific. And uh, one thing I'm going to do, and uh, <laughs> I'll admit it right here, is she has, a, she has a brilliant idea that I'm going to steal. I'm going to be stealing it. <laughs> she, uh, so keep, keep an eye out for this. She has playlists of her weekly videos. You know, you want to see what came out this week. Maybe you missed a video or two. Uh, you can just go right to this playlist, and there they go. And I even think I saw she had a monthly one. Not sure if that's... If you're doing weeklies, I don't know, but I'm definitely stealing that weekly idea from your deception. So thank you very much for that. Uh, but check, check her out. If you like video game players, if you like the reaction video game players, I really think you're going to enjoy checking out deception. Now, the next one I want to talk about is another favorite of mine to watch. Actually, and this gentleman is also very active uh, on my view channel as well as always checking out the live playthroughs, always giving me a good shout out. He is the kind of person, much like Deception that I just mentioned, that enjoys being part of the, not, not just the content creator community here, but being part of the board gaming community. And it's very obvious. The way he communicates with you, uh, the, uh, how much he loves the shows. It's not just me he checks out, but he also knows what he likes. Uh, and he can be particular about that. Anyone can. I know I can which is why I'm making sure to give a shout out to those that I think are, are, are deserving of it, in my humble opinion here. Um, now, Shogunstein doesn't, he, he drops regularly, he drops videos regularly. Um, you're going to see at least a video a week, usually, uh, from what I've noticed over time, but you could see as many as maybe four or five videos up in, in a week. Now, not only does he cover board games in a, in a fun manner I, I love his banter especially during like the unboxings uh, i do really enjoy the banter that he puts forward uh, a bit of a, a, a dry a dry humor uh that i'm that i've really been enjoying um but not only does he do things that you would expect on a board game channel like unboxings overviews reviews discussions on titles on games um but he branches out which is something I don't do here. I do have other interests, which is why I'm 
hopefully next few weeks going to be having a new channel up uh but for this one channel it's it's all very laser focused for me while he takes his passions and a lot of them do overlap with uh things that you can call nerdy or you could call nostalgic as well uh so he he loves putting them all on his channels. Maybe you're going to see something on Lego. He has a great series on Lego videos from great Lego cars, uh, Harley Davidson, the White House. Uh, some really, really fun videos on those. Articles of clothing, like backpacks, rucksacks, sneakers. I think he has one on a hoodie, I think. Uh, so he does anything that, that this gentleman enjoys. He makes sure to talk about. He doesn't hide his passion about anything. And that's why I enjoy the channel, because it does, it does go a little bit beyond just a board game channel, which is actually odd for me. This is another reason why I wanted to bring him up to you, is I generally don't like when when you have something set. You know, like, let's say, a board game channel. Now, even though I know I'm a little guilty of this in the past. Uh, but then all of a sudden, one day you go on and you see a thing about some NASA lunch, or you see something on a car race, or you see something on an award ceremony. And you're like, why? Why do you have this on a gaming channel or a video channel or, or whatever that you're doing your channel on uh, if it doesn't match up? But yet he, he, maybe it's because of nostalgia. Maybe because a lot of these things do, do fall under sort of a nostalgia and there's a bit of an umbrella I can see by that. And maybe that's why it doesn't really bother me. Maybe it's just the way he presents it. Maybe it's that dry humor of his that I've really been enjoying. But whatever it is, I know that if I want to watch a good, relaxing video and get a little chuckle on the side here and there, that I can go check out a video by Shogunstein. And I might not even know what is necessarily going to be coming up. But I know that I'm going to enjoy watching it. Now, there's one thing uh, I do want to point out about Shogunstein. I know you're watching this video. <laughs> I would suggest because it's one of the first things that uh, that, I, that I looked for a while ago and then I forgot and I looked for it again and then I forgot and I looked for it again and I feel like a fool playlists man playlists put a few of your things like put all your Lego things in a playlist together you know put uh, all of your clothing things in a playlist together so this way if someone does want that specifically they know where to find it also, it makes it easier for advertising because then you can just use the link to the playlist and say, hey, you like Lego stuff, check it out. I got a whole playlist of Lego videos. So it helps them out, it helps you out. But yeah, so those are two really fun, good, entertaining YouTubers that I make sure I make time to check out their videos. And that means a lot because I know I'm not the only one that doesn't always seem to have a lot of time in their day. I'm sure you have that experience at least from time to time yourself. So that's why I wanted to make sure to point these individuals out. And there's going to be more. There's a, a few more gamers that I watch. There's a couple of non-gamers that I watch. And I, I don't care what their level is, okay? I don't care whether it's a beginner YouTube channel or someone that's a hundred times more successful than me. If it's something that entertains me enough for me to spend my time on it, it's eventually going to find its way into an episode of Grand Central Shoutout. I think that's only fair. So thank you very much, and please remember, go check out, show some love to Deception, and over to the Shogunstein. Right? You agree? Don't listen to him. All right, thank you very much, everyone. I'm your buddy, Big John, at G for Two Gun Pixel Presents. <laughs> Legendary Gaming and I am out of here.